Hey, hey guys, I am back. How's everybody doing today? I am doing pretty good despite the crappy weather. I got some interesting <laughs> stuff in the car with me today. And some hair on my back too. If you are new to my channel and you'd like to subscribe and become a part of my family, we would love to have you. That's me, the kids, everybody. Everybody's getting into the whole YouTube thing. So um, today I've got a LaCroix and lemon. Let's open this. Don't spit. All right, not too bad. I got some watermelon. And I got a bowl of cocoa pebbles, which I didn't want to put milk on because I didn't want them to get all soggy. So I brought the gallon of milk with me. There's not much left in it. So let's go ahead and pour some of this on here. You know, I'm in that weird part of the parking lot again. Everybody's going to be like, oh my God, she's got cereal and a whole gallon of milk with her. Or the Cocoa Krispies. Cocoa Pebbles. Let's see. We'll start with that. I don't know if I'll be able to eat all this, but you know how like the cereal gets down to a certain level and then you're like, there's not enough for a whole another serving? So I'm just going to go ahead and pour it all in. And then you pour it in and you're like, oh man, that's probably too much for me to eat. Yeah, it was that type of deal today. There's some cocoa pebbles, which are gluten-free, so they should not mess with my stomach. Alright. Cocoa Krispies. There was like a parent, that guy that just drove by, was like in the pickup line, and then he's like, no, nah, I'm not going to get my kid today. <laughs> he just left. So I've been mostly cleaning today, doing laundry. All that kind of stuff, because tomorrow... The house people are coming in to fix some stuff. And the painter people just called me. Their painters are horrible. I want my sunshine back out. the last week of school for the kids so we'll see what happens over the next week because this is mostly the time where I can do my videos without being interrupted Munch is at home sleeping on the couch which usually she doesn't do so I guess Scott was doing something right Scheduled an appointment with the foot doctor. So I go see them on Friday. We'll see what they want to do. Did another kind of smoky eye with my makeup today because it's all gloomy and gross outside. kids are still having to get their eye drops at school. I don't know how Ari is gonna do with that. <laughs> Munch is doing a lot better though. 
she is like almost back to her regular self again. If you're new or you've missed some videos, all three of my kids got pink eye. Thankfully, no, none of the adults got it, so. With my cereal, if there gets to be like pieces that stick up around the sides, like I have to push them all down. I don't know, it's like OCD with me in cereal. Get down in that milk. If I didn't have kids, I wouldn't eat this kind of cereal. I probably wouldn't make like pillow forts and stuff either, but I do that. What's your favorite kind of cereal? If I could pick one cereal that I had to eat for the rest of my life, it would probably be Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I like to mix it up though. And whenever I was a kid, I used to eat the Captain Crunch with berries. And I would always say, man, I wish that they would make it to where it was just the berries, not the little golden crunchy bits, just berries. Went through my whole childhood, and then just a few years ago, they come out with the Oops All Berries. Cereal's so good, though. And the cool thing about this is that the milk actually turns to, like, chocolate milk. I don't know what was up with Munch last night, but she was not sleeping good. She just kept whining out. Like every five minutes, she'd start crying. So then, of course, this morning, once it's time to get up, she didn't want to wake up because she was still tired. I was like, that's what you get. You should have slept while you could have. Maybe she'll take a long nap today. And we're going to come and rip out our shower tomorrow. Because the idiot that put it in didn't put it in right. So water's standing in places where it shouldn't instead of it all like flowing down towards the drain. Some of it's like flat and then there's like a little bowl where water kind of like collects in a place where it shouldn't. So of course that ate through the grout and then started to crack it and now they have to pull the whole thing up. They have to replace a couple doors. They have to replace a few windows. Um, the countertop and on my sink they have to replace because they had a huge scratch on that. Like you need to tell your people to be more careful when they're putting stuff in. And they'll give you like a date of when the house should be done and when you should go to settlement. And they always miss the date because this has happened with multiple houses and my new neighbors that are going to be moving in. 
are going through the same thing. Like they were supposed to be moving in right about now. They just finished hanging drywall a couple days ago. So they're still quite a few weeks out. And then you'll tell them, all right, go ahead and slow down. Just take your time with it. But once they miss that date, they have to like speed it up and go really, really fast. And then they're giving you like a crap quality. I don't understand it. They were spot on with us. The first time when they said the project manager was like once we hang drywall it's usually about 65 to 70 days and then that's when you'll go to closing and it was like 72 days for us but when my neighbors were saying oh yeah we're supposed to be moving in mid-june and I seen the progress of where they were at, I was like, there's no way you're getting in by mid-June, sorry. And they were like, I don't know, you know, we'll make it, our house isn't as big as yours. And I was like, it doesn't matter. I'm telling you, you're not gonna make mid-June. They'll be lucky if they get in mid-July. And the mom, is upset because she wants the kids to be able to have most of the summer at their new house so they can play with new friends and get to know new people and stuff like that which I totally understand that wasn't really an option for us because we had we were supposed to go to signing um, the first week in January we didn't move until the first week in April So I don't know who comes up with these timelines of this is when it's going to be done because they're not right at all. And the more people that I talk to, everybody's saying the same things. And it's like they still have these shitty ass painters that don't care. Like, it's a construction site. It's dirty. So when they come in and they sand the drywall, there's this powdery residue stuff that gets everywhere from sanding. They don't even bother to wipe down the baseboards or wipe down the walls or like the window sills or anything. They just take a dirty paintbrush stick it in the bucket and then they just start slapping paint on the wall and they're like dragging it through so there's like chunks of stuff in the paint so there's so there was like a thousand little pieces of tape oh man like a thousand pieces of tape that i put up for them to fix little spots and they came in they fixed a few of the major spots and then went ahead and took all the rest of the little pieces of tape off the wall. They didn't even fix it. I was like, oh my god. And there's so many complaints about it. And they're not hiring other people. Like, I don't know if they have a contract with these guys or what, but they suck. There's been a few spots in the house, like mostly doors, where they've sanded it and then tried to like patch it and then paint over it. And the job has been so bad that we've actually, I had to tell them, I don't want this door. You need to take the entire door. I want a brand new door. <clears throat> and that's sad whenever you're spending, like, they advertise the houses for 
starting in the 300,000s. We spent 570,000 on our house. There is no reason why we should not have exactly everything perfect. You know, completely nice and neat. I should not have to move into my brand new home that I paid over half a million dollars for and have to come in and fix crap that you've messed up. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm just pissed off because I don't want these people in my house anymore. And it's like, are you really going to fix anything or are you just going to leave and have it more fucked up than it was when you did it the first time? I don't know. But I do know that this watermelon... Oh, I had some of it yesterday. It is so good. I even got some napkins out because this was like juicy watermelon. I got like four of these pieces yesterday, like before bed. And I ate them and I was like, oh man, I wanted more. But I took them upstairs in the, the bedroom with me, so... I was like, do I really want to have to go down and get more, or am I okay with, like, you know, eating the couple pieces that I had? I really debated on going back down and getting more, though. So, sweet watermelon. It smells so good, too. What's your favorite fruit? Or top three fruits? Because I can't really say, like... This is my all-time favorite. Because I'll go through periods where it's like I really like one thing and then I'll switch to another. And then this morning we go out to get in the car for to go to school. And I was like, oh my god, it's cold out here. Like, what the hell happened? Like, all this rain just took all the warm air out. And it is like... It was cold. I had to put the heat on this morning. I still got it on like halfway, like in between air condition and hot. <laughs> Arctic or desert? And I don't know if they're going to be able to finish the whole bathtub thing or shower tomorrow. And I know that these got little white seeds in them. Which to me doesn't mean it means that it's not seedless because there's white seeds in it. And Scott was saying that they classify it seedless if it doesn't have black seeds in it. I was like, that kind of sucks. Look at that. That's a lot of seeds right there. And you're telling me that this is a seedless watermelon. Mm -mm. Still good though. All the cars are pouring in now. I'm sitting like we got to go into a circle and then it like wraps around and up like a big hill. And I can see all the cars coming down the hill. Coming in behind me. I'm number eight today. <laughs> We hang a little tag thing in the mirror, like on the mirror, and my number is 240. So the kids have this 240 
on a little bracelet thing that they put onto their backpack and they're supposed to remember their number. So they'll come through and they'll get all the numbers down and they'll be like, okay, number 240 is eight in line. So, okay, Logan and Aria, number 240, come on. And then they line them all up inside the gym or cafeteria. I don't really know. I've only walked to the school once. Because this school is on lockdown. You can't get in unless you have a reason to be there. Like everything is locked. You have to show your ID and they have to like buzz you in and then you can't get past the office. And if you do leave the office with somebody, you have to have a staff member or security with you to walk you to wherever you need to go. I like this school. Because the other school that they were at, you're supposed to walk in and go like to the office, which was go through the double doors and then go to the left but they never locked the second set of doors. So if you wanted to just walk straight in, you could. And if you stayed on the same hallway and you just walked straight down, they had all, that's where they had all of kindergarten and first grade. Great opportunity for somebody to go in and kill a whole bunch of little kids. So juicy. Mm. See, and then I always debate like picking out the seeds, the white ones, and then I'm like, eh, no, I'll just eat through them. And then I always end up getting them stuck in my teeth. I'm like, I should have picked them out. My other neighbors are getting a quote for a, a back patio for their backyard. And the wife was thinking, like, okay, it'll be around 10 grand. And my dad was like, <laughs> okay, if you want to think that. Because the guy came and tried to, like, set up an appointment with us to see if they could, you know sell us a patio and my dad's able to do that by himself so we don't need it and we're gonna get it done when we have <clears throat> enough money to be able to do it <clears throat> but my dad was like yeah right ten thousand dollars you're talking more like 30 to 40. that's a lot of money just to have you know a little area to stand out on your back porch I want a patio for the sole purpose of it'll be less of an area for me to have to mow because mowing the grass is like my thing now like Scott and my dad were both like oh no we'll, we'll mow the lawn you know we'll take care of all the gardening you know the outdoor stuff and everything like that I'm like don't touch my grass I'm gonna kick your ass if you touch my grass. <laughs> that grass is mine. Oh, and we also got um, the bug killing people. They're coming tomorrow too to retreat. Cause this, the wasps are still there and they're trying to like make their way up into the the garage door like the little areas that they have it all bolted together with 
hunks of metal or whatever they're trying to like get up under into that and my kids we play in the garage so even if it's like raining outside we'll get home and I like the kids to be outside as much as possible now that we're in a better neighborhood so even if it's raining they'll sit outside we got a picnic table in the garage and they'll just sit there and they'll color and they'll eat and I mean they can be a little bit messy and stuff not like inside inside they know they're gonna get their ass beat if they don't clean up after themselves and they still don't and I never beat their ass anyway <laughs> I had to punish Logan yesterday though because he was playing with the hose and a new neighbor was walking by and he stopped to introduce himself and he was spraying the hose a little bit and he was getting Aria wet and I told him to stop and to turn the hose off and he knows that Okay, mom's preoccupied. She's talking to somebody. So I'm just going to keep on doing it because she's not going to stop me. And there's no consequences until like after. I told him like four times to turn the hose off because he was getting himself soaking wet. He was getting Aria wet and Munch was just like up there playing in it. So her whole onesie thing was soaking wet. He had like flooded part of the front porch all because he was wanting to clean mud off of his shoes. Which was just a pair of Crocs. But he didn't stop. So then this neighbor was like, you know, finished his conversation and stuff. <clears throat> and he left. I went up to Logan and I grabbed the hose from him and I turned it off. And I was like, I told you to turn that off like four times and you did not listen to me. And he just sits there with that little smirk on his face like, I knew you weren't going to do anything, so I'm just going to keep on doing it. I was like, boy, you better get your ass upstairs. And I made him go up there and he stayed up there for an hour. And I almost forgot about him. <laughs> Until I went to help Aria with her school project because she's star of the week just more crap I gotta do and then whenever I went to go get him he had his bedroom door locked and I knocked on it and he was like what I was like unlock your door he was like I'm taking a poop mom <laughs> I was like, okay, well, whenever you're done taking your dump, you can go ahead and come on out, and then you need to talk to me before you go downstairs. And Ari was like, I guess you're not in time out anymore. Those two egg each other on so bad. It's all day long. Like, I can't even roll out of bed without hearing them fighting. And they're such good kids when they're alone. Like, not with each other. They're both good whenever they're with Munch. Because Munch is, like, so much younger than them. But they're only 11 months apart, so... They've never known life without each other. So they're pretty much like twins. I'm going to grab one more little thin piece because I only got a few minutes. This one's thinner. I remember one time whenever I was like four or five, I was eating watermelon 
and my mom was like, Kristen, don't eat too much because it's going to make you get the runs. And I was like, okay. But I couldn't help it because it was so good. So I just kept eating it and eating it. And I ate so much watermelon. On that whole night and the whole next day, I was shitting like every five minutes. Watermelon. If you eat too much of it, it gives you diarrhea. There's too many seeds. That is not seedless. So, we'll see how tomorrow goes. Who knows, I might do a vlog or something. I don't want summer to be here. Like, I like the idea of not having to have the alarm clock on and have to be up and out the door every day at a certain time. But my kids are a handful. Alright, so I'm going to wrap this up. So, tell me what your favorite fruit is, or top three. I'd probably say strawberries, watermelon, and either bananas or green grapes. I like most fruit, though. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button. Oh, y'all might get to see the, the number guy. He's walking right by me now. You'll see him out that window. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on, dude. Okay. <laughs> so... subscribe for more I know this video wasn't that good I'm just like not in a good mood today because of the crappy weather watermelon made it a little better I'll let you guys know what they do to my house if they fuck it up even more Oh my gosh. Alrighty. Also, if anybody's wondering with my cereal, I usually drink whole milk. I can do 2%, can't do skim. Skim milk tastes like water to me. So, <clears throat> but anyways, like I said, hit that subscribe button, comment down below, let me know what your favorite fruits are. I'm actually curious and I will talk to you guys later and who knows when I'll be back maybe tomorrow probably tomorrow it's gonna be an interesting day so we'll see all right love you guys bye